Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will talk about normal distribution, which is also called as Gaussian distribution. Why it is called as normal distribution? Because it represents the behavior of most of the situations in the universe. It has some characteristics where its mean, median and mode are all same and the distribution is symmetric. So exactly half of the values are to the left of the center and half of the values are to the right of center. See, there are three distributions here. Now, if you look at this distribution, it has some tail at the left and some peakness at the right of the spread. So, it cannot be called as a normal distribution because it is not symmetric. Though it has a peak, it has some spread, but it is not a normal distribution because here in this data set, we would be having some different mean and median, right? So, same thing goes with the right data set, that right graph shown over here. Similarly, there's some situation over this histogram. It is all jumbled up here and you cannot make a distribution, symmetric distribution out from this. Now, let's see this distribution over here. One thing of normal distribution is it looks like a bell curve, just like a bell. Okay. And you can see from this point, some symmetry about left and the right of it. So this is what a normal distribution follows. There is no bias on the left and right. So it looks symmetric. As I told, normal distribution is very normal to see. And these are some few things that follows normal distribution. Height of people, size of things produced by machines, errors, blood pressure, marks on the test. This is somewhat like a bell curve. There's some symmetry around the axis from the peak. The peak is the mean, median and mode. Half of the data set is towards the left and half towards the right, which means that some 50% values are less and some 50% values are greater than the mean. So as you know, standard deviation is the measure of how spread out the numbers are. If you look at this graph from a symmetric line that from mean, 68% of the values are centered around one standard deviation of the mean. Okay. And if you go spread further, 95% of the values are covered in two standard deviation. And almost 99.7% values are covered in three standard deviation of the mean. Let's take an example. Let's say 95% of the students at school are between 1.1 meter and 1.7 meter tall okay now if you look at the mean mean is 1.4 meter and one standard deviation is here 1.0.15 meters now if you look at from 1.4 meter to one standard deviation towards the left it is 1.25 and similarly one standard deviation towards the right 1.55 68% of the values are covered here that means 68% of the students are falling between 1.25 meters and 1.55 meters of height going further towards two standard deviation 95% of the class is covered from 1.1 meter and 1.7 meters tall so this is some concept of standard deviation and with respect to mean. Now let's see some plottings of the normal distribution with mean and standard deviation. I can plot any normal distribution. I don't need to have the whole complete data set to plot the distribution. So if I have mean and standard deviation, I can plot the curve. Take an example, let's say this is something that is following a normal curve. Uh, I may be bad at drawing, but just for a second imagine that this is something that following normal distribution curve. Now here, this, let's say some spread is x and mean is y. So if my mean is lowered, that means, let's say I have put some mean here and I lower down my spread also, I can plot it, right? Now, if I have the same spread, but my mean is more, 
you can see that I have a I have a different curve but still I don't need any other value other than mean and standard deviation but if you look around this all three curves are completely symmetric towards left and right of the curve so this is it in the normal distribution see you in the next video